Hi everyone! Today's video is made possible by Blinkist. Get your free 7-day premium trial at Blinkist.com slash Psych2Go. Watch the video to the end for books that we recommend. Bad habits always die hard. If you're watching this video because you think we have some shortcuts, well, we don't want to get your hopes up. Instead, we're here to offer our support and some helpful tips. Here are five ways to stop reinforcing bad habits and make good ones instead. One, identify what triggers them. Psychologist Robert Tybee says that when you can identify your triggers, then you can push back, whether it means cutting down on junk food or starting your homework earlier. There are ways to spot what makes you jump back into the dreaded rabbit hole. Having chips and ice cream in your pantry and fridge can make it tempting to resort back to your old ways. Instead, we recommend getting rid of them and replacing them with healthier snacks. If playing video games or browsing the internet makes you start your homework late, we recommend putting your games away and temporarily deactivating your social media pages. That way, there are less distractions to work with. Two, accept that there are obstacles ahead. It's not going to be rainbows and butterflies, that's for sure. Art Markham, a professor of psychology at the University of Texas, states people don't take the obstacles they're going to face seriously enough when they set out to change behaviors. This makes it very easy to become discouraged along the way. To avoid being disillusioned, Markham recommends thinking of all the things that can go wrong and preparing ways to overcome them. Always have a plan B. Set realistic goals and accept that failure is part of the process. Three, create a reward system. Who said ending bad habits has to be all work? Since you're working hard, you might as well play hard too. Every time you pull back from your bad habits, reward yourself. Whether it means going to the spa or baking cookies after a long week of eating healthy, give yourself a well-earned break. On the flip side, however, if you cave into your bad habits, it's important to set some rules to help you get back in line. Punishment doesn't have to be brutal, of course, but if you catch yourself giving in to that bag of chips only on day two, drop and give yourself 20. Feel free to brainstorm your system with a friend or family member to make things more fun. This will also hold you more accountable for your actions. Four, make changes slowly. Patience, young grasshopper. Instant gratification is tempting, but in this case, gradual progress will pay off better long-term than hasty results. Instead of cutting all your bad habits immediately, make changes slowly to help your body adapt better both physically and mentally. Rome definitely wasn't built in a day. Moderation is key. Five, don't let failure be a reason to give up. Expect to fail along the way, but the most important thing is to keep going. Often, we're too hard on ourselves when we slip. Instead of beating ourselves up over the mistakes we make, we can see them as learning opportunities. Remember, you are stronger than your temptations. Nowadays, it's so hard to find time in our busy lives to take a moment to sit and learn something new or something we are curious about. Most people enjoy reading, but struggle in finding the time to do so. But with the help of Blinkist, you can change that entirely. Blinkist is an app that takes the most important and useful information from thousands of nonfiction books and condenses it down in 15 minutes, in which you have the choice to read or listen to at any time. Currently, there are 8 million users using Blinkist that are actively exposed to a great selection of topics, ranging from self-help, business, health, and even history books. I've used Blinkist during my commute to work and love it because everything you need to know about something is available in less than 15 minutes. I've listened to The Power of Habits by Charles Duhigg and The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. I highly recommend you sign up. The first 100 people to go to their website are going to get unlimited access for seven days to try it out. And you will also receive 20% off if you choose to get the full membership. You can cancel it at any time during the period. I promise you won't regret it. More information is in the description box below, so sign up now.